Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Layla's Looks. So today I'm going to be doing an empties video. And basically, yeah, I'm going to be just showing you guys products that I've used up and talking about them and kind of mini reviewing them for you guys. Um, since I've used them all up, I probably have a good idea on how I feel about them. So yeah, um, I haven't done an empties video in a while, and so I thought it was time to do another one. I only have like five empties, but um, less than I had last time. But that's okay. So yeah, these are my empties. I have a lot of like pencil-y type products and stuff. Um, but these are them. So let's start off with all the makeup product products, which are these like pencil-y type products. Um, this is the Soap and Glory Archery um, Tint and Brow Shaper Pencil. And this is what it looks like. It's basically like a brow brow pencil. And on one side it has the pencil, and then on the other side it has um, a felt or not a felt, it has like a brow pen on the other side. So I use this all up, like the, the felt side is like all dried up and then the pencil side is like down to the tiniest little bit. So yeah, um, and I used this for a while, I used this for, this lasted me a really long time. Um, but yeah, I really like this though. It, um, I did just now, if you follow me on Instagram, I did, I dropped it. If you do follow me on my Instagram, those looks or whatever. Uh, I um, recently got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil, Brow Wiz, and so yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, and so now like my whole entire like idea of like eyebrow pencils is like changed, you know, because I really like that one. But I really like that one, so it's kind of like, you know, this one I liked before, but now I'm like, I got something even better, you know? So, yeah, so this is good though, um, if you're looking for just like a standard brow pencil, it's pretty cheap, I think. Next thing is the Rimmel Exaggerate, uh, lip liner, and I have like a couple of these, I think, well, I have like two or three of them, um, and yeah, this one is in the color Iconic, I think, and this is, um, it's like all gone like it and the problem about these like I see so many people talking about how they love these so much and I like it I like them but they keep like they like break off from me like they're so soft that like and they're like the wind up one you know so they like break off like crazy so like they would come up and then they would just like Bloop, and then I'd be like <sighs> so for that reason I didn't really like it that much um but yeah and this color was a bit off on me it was almost too nude it was almost like gray on me which was kind of weird it kind of had like a faint like sparkle to it which was interesting um yeah I like the one in um Easton Snob I like that one that's like a neutral pink shade but I still don't like it because it's so soft and it does kind of like break off you know oh. Kyle go away Kyle looks like Bigfoot he does the thing Go away, I'm trying to talk. Kyle. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. Okay, um, so this is the uh, L'Oreal um, Pencil Perfect. It's like their eyeliner, and this is, it's like, I got it in like the brown shade, and I wanted like a brown eyeliner, right? So I went for this, right? And it's really tiny, A, eh? which you don't get much bang for your buck, I think, because it's so tiny. Um, it's not, like, I, like, you know, like, I don't know, compared to some other things, even the lip liner is slightly taller than this, so it's kind of weird, um, and this, yeah, this does not last very long at all, it only lasts a couple months, I mean, it wasn't, I mean, I guess that's not too bad, but I've, compared to some other things that I have that I use on a regular basis, I wasn't even using this, like, that often, and it, like, really just, I don't know, didn't last very long. So, and like the color wasn't, it was like brown, but it was like a darker brown, and it wasn't, like it wasn't like light brown, and I wanted more of a light brown, like just general brown, but it was more like of a dark chocolate color. Um, so, I don't know, it was okay, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Alright, so these um, are some makeup wipes, and if you guys remember my last empties video, I was talking about makeup wipes a bunch, and how, you know, none of them works for me, and how makeup wipes really irritated my skin. Now, these ones, we had two of these, so these ones are actually still full with some, but we got two of these, me and my mom, and we were like, oh, they're like supposed to be like, you know, more natural and stuff, so maybe they'll work. And so me and my mom, oh, my hair is like sticking to me, um, so me and my mom found these, uh, because it was like this brand that was like at the grocery store and they were new or whatever, and so they were had a 
polish their products and stuff there. Anywho, um, and these I think really irritated my skin, like super bad. So I ended up just using them for um, lipstick, removing lipstick, because I don't like removing lipstick like. I don't know, with like an oil and like a little cotton bud or something. Like that's how I would normally kind of do it if it was like a really sturdy lipstick. Um, but I think these are just like great for removing lipstick. Um, like I think with all, you know, makeup wipes, I don't really use them for my face. I mean, like I would like to, you know, but they're just so, I don't know, they just, they like burnt my skin almost. Like it felt like my skin was on fire. Like especially around my eyes, like right around here, it was like terrible. Um, I was like, ah, like, you know, <laughs> and my mom was like, rinse off your face, please, like, do not use those again. So yeah, so I wouldn't repurchase those, um, unless I was going to buy them just for, like, lipstick or whatever, uh, but yeah. So this is, like, my only hair product, and this is the John Frieda, um, London Paris, you know, that's weird, they have, like, John Frieda at the top, and, you know, and then underneath it, like, you know how, like, there's L'Oreal Paris, and there's, you know, blah, blah, Paris, blah, blah, you know. London, New York. Um, this is like John Frieda, London, Paris, New York. Look, it has all of them. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just weird. <laughs> this is weird. And it is the Dream Curls Curl Perfecting Spray. Now, I got this like a long... Sorry, there's... Neighbors are very... I don't know what they're doing. Um, they're being loud. <laughs> so... I got this like a long time ago, like back in the day, and yeah, and so then I started using it like kind of recently-ish, you know, and this lasted me a long time, um, and it's, it's still got like a little teeny, like it's like a little teeny bit left, but I'm not going to use it. I just, after a while I was just like, this isn't doing anything for my hair, I don't think, you know, like I like the, the satisfaction of spraying it in my hair when it's wet, and then ta-da, you know, but then it didn't actually like do anything, you know, like it, it didn't. I didn't feel like it was doing much for my hair when it's supposed to like perfect waves and curls and you know make your hair just like silkier and I don't know it didn't really do that um so I wouldn't repurchase this uh yeah sorry John Frieda but yeah <laughs> okay that was like all my empties hopefully this wasn't too short or too long I don't know if I I don't know how this video is gonna turn out but I'm filming this on the same day that I'm going to be like editing and posting it so that's why I'm like I don't know there's not many empties and whatever uh I've been like such on a roll of like posting my videos you know like in a roll you know um every like Tuesday which I should post it every Tuesday like, you know I post every Tuesday um but I've been doing that so often I've been posting every Tuesday it's been like really good and I've been really on top of it you know and I and it's been good uh but uh this last like week I was just so busy I've been doing a lot of stuff lately so I didn't have time really to film and so I was like the only time I have time to film is my like editing day which is like well usually I would edit on Mondays and Tuesdays and then post on Tuesdays like you know uh, and then film on like a Saturday or Sunday but I didn't have time on Saturday and Sunday so I'm filming it on a Tuesday and then I'm gonna post it tonight hopefully if I get this edited and it looks okay so yeah all right I really hope you guys enjoy this please comment like and subscribe to my channel cuz it's awesome and I'll see you guys in my next video oh my gosh guys guess what I have 50 subscribers. So cool. Um, thanks for subscribing. Um, so yeah, totally subscribe. Uh, but yeah, that's so cool, right? I like, oh, 50, that's cool. Uh, Anywho, I'm babbling now, so I better go. And I'll let you go because you have more important things to do. So bye. <laughs>